from CBS News, it's The Early Show with Erica Hill and Chris Ragnar. In this morning's Health Watch, PRP therapy is a way of fixing a muscle, tendon, or a joint-related injury without surgery, and it is really catching on. But the thing is, there's no firm evidence that this experimental treatment actually works, and medical correspondent Dr. John LaPook is here with more on it. Good morning to you, Doc. Good, good morning, guys. Um, PRP stands for platelet-rich plasma therapy. Platelets are the part of our blood that's responsible for clotting and healing. Pro athletes started trying it about five years ago. Now ordinary folks are requesting the treatment, and some swear by it. We're both just happy to be moving again. After enduring years of chronic foot pain, Linda Leonard is thrilled to be back in her boots. You good girl, huh? While riding 15 years ago, her horse stumbled, prompting her to jump off. Linda landed hard, shattering her ankle. The angle weight momentum just blew it apart into 40 places. And I thought, I'm really in trouble. And I had to crawl out on my elbows, and I was laying by the side of the road. After multiple surgeries, arthritis set in. People who have pain every day, it's exhausting. I thought, is this going to be my life? And I thought, this is not even the essence of me. Linda spent years searching for relief. Then, in 2009, she heard about an experimental, non-surgical solution that claims to stimulate powerful healing. Linda sought out Stephen Sampson, an osteopath, who offers platelet-rich plasma therapy, or PRP. What we do is we isolate the body's natural healing properties called platelets. We've learned that platelets release growth factor that stimulate repair. The procedure is simple. A small amount of the patient's blood is spun in a centrifuge to separate and concentrate the platelets. Then they're injected into the injury. The cost varies from about $500 to $2,000, but is rarely covered by insurance because it's still experimental. We've had success from head to toe, from neck, back, hip, knee. But thus far, studies have not produced convincing evidence that PRP is a magic bullet for tendon and muscle injuries. Does it hurt when I help? Dr. Peter McCann is the chairman of orthopedic surgery at Beth Israel Medical Center in New York City. The PRP is equivalent to cortisone injections. There are a few studies that show slight improvement, but it's really not an improvement that patients would appreciate. That didn't stop former NBA star Maurice Taylor from trying it. He claims it eliminated pain in both his knees. I'm very surprised. I mean, because it's a, it's, it's a quick treatment. I'm surprised the treatment that takes so little time, you know, has such big results. But as editor-in-chief of the American Journal of Orthopedics, Dr. McCann says further studies are warranted. Is the jury still out? Is it possible that Absolutely, the jury's still out. We need more studies to figure out if we can select out those patients who will really benefit from it because it does have great potential. I was actually off the court and away from training for maybe two days, and then the third day I was playing basketball. Taylor now plays for a team in China. She wants dinner. And Linda Leonard remains free of crippling right, pain. Let's go. Maybe it won't work on everybody, but it worked on me.